probably at least six to eight hours, sometimes 10 if you love to sleep in. I have kids, so I don't do that. It's going to hurt. Like, why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> You should be liking and commenting and subscribing and like staying after that like watch my whole video because you want to get to know me more or you just want to support or you're bored like i don't know but just stay hello wonderful people saisha b back again i decided i wanted to do a video when i first made the decision i was going to make this YouTube channel that I was going to do a video about my aligners that I use to Smile Direct Club. I know, you wonder, did it really work? We're going to find out. I'm going to include pictures of everything before, after, the little chart they give me to tell me what it's going to look like after. So if you made it this far, which you better have, go ahead and like, subscribe, Comment on this video if this is, you know, something you're interested in and stay tuned. I decided to do aligners because I had this crazy gap in my tooth that was right over here. Still a little gap there, but it was like big. It was obnoxiously making me unconscious type of gap and I was over it. So I had been looking at Smile Direct for a while because it pops up and ads everywhere. And now it's like so many different companies that do the same process. So I was like, I'm gonna give it a try. And it's pretty much they make you like custom braces. So similar to like, um, what's it called? Invisalign, they make them kind of like that, but Invisalign is probably like the higher end version of it. It's really expensive. That's why a lot of people don't do it. They're trying to make it more affordable from what I heard, but the Smile Direct was a lot cheaper in my time frame. So I was like, I'm gonna just do that. I used my HSA. They actually take your, your insurance, you know, the card that they give you for your insurance. You can use that or you could just do your actual money and pay them. So that made it easy for a lot of people, I'm guessing. So it worked out for me. Um, it costs a lot, but like I said, not nearly as much as getting braces and Invisalign is. So I was like, it's worth a try. Um, but I made the terrible mistake. First mistake was doing it while I was pregnant. I was three months pregnant, I think, maybe four, maybe four, maybe four when I started it. Cause it's like a six month process. So I was probably about four months pregnant because I did my last tray of aligners, my second week out of the hospital i think i think i had just had the baby um so <laughs> that was really hard when you are pregnant everything is more sensitive so like even your teeth are more sensitive they hurt when you eat just about anything for no apparent reason like how old people do when you eat ice cream stuff like that that was me with everything i did half the time my first pregnancy it was really bad this time it wasn't as bad but it got bad once i started wearing the aligners because it's a really, you know, funky process getting your mouth used to it because you're literally stretching your teeth. That's what you're doing. You're moving them. <laughs> so my mouth was very upset with me. So I'm going to insert the little box that they send you. The mailing is actually pretty quick with them. They make it seem like, you know, it could take up to all these weeks away, but they usually send it within like two weeks of when you request whatever it is at the, at the longest. It could take two weeks. Um, and they send you the box straight to your door and call it a day. It's that simple. Um, if you don't go to one of their places to get like fitted for it, they send it in your original box and you just do that first. And then they'll send you back everything. Once you set up payment, of course, you got to set up payment or they're not going to send you nothing, but they will let you do the, the testing out free, like to see if you're eligible and what it would look like. They give you all of that and tell you what you know your results could be and then it's like okay give us money and we'll send you the retainers this is pretty much how it works um i went to one of their little like smile bus stops pretty much and it was like at the mall near me sorry it was at the mall near me and i took my daughter with me actually and it really wasn't that bad it was cold but it had like a heated bus where that had every tool they needed and they literally drove around to different cities with this bus I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I'll I'll make sure I like link it some kind of way. Um, 
but they um literally just take you through like you're at the dentist they do an x-ray of your teeth and it's like um like whatever the cheaper version of a regular x-ray is because obviously they didn't want to like x-ray you because i was pregnant so obviously they made sure it would be okay so i don't think it was technically an x-ray but it was whatever type of thing where they could just take a whole bunch of small pictures of your teeth and get the whole view of your mouth and they find out if you're eligible there and they let me know that day i was like if you do it separately you gotta wait for them to message you and let you know and all of that for me i found out in that moment and because i had my hsa card and they let me know that I was available i just set it up that day and because i set it up i got like a free gift they gave me like a gift card and um what's it called they gave me a gift card and a whitening kit they actually give you a whitening kit inside of your regular package when you get your first set of retainers so i had like double i'm still using it because you you know when you whiten your teeth you forget half the time so i've been doing it periodically so i still have a decent amount of the stuff left so you'll see that in the picture as well it's, it's not too hard it's literally like looks like you're doing like brush on you just brush it on not like like your toothpaste but it has like the little bristles like how cuticle oil does and you literally brush it on your teeth let it sit for x amount of minutes and spit it out literally wash your mouth out and you go um so yeah the bus thing was really wasn't bad it was easy my daughter wasn't you know antsy it didn't take that long that she got antsy and this was she was smaller than and you know still jumpy around the right now but you know it was still worse at that time so she got through it pretty good so i was like okay cool I'm keep pushing get my retainers in the mail like maybe two weeks after that probably not even two weeks like i said really don't take that long and you get your own like personalized doctor and their name is literally posted on everything you get sent they send you each aligner for every single week you need it so it's one week two week and then the third week one is literally the third and the fourth week retainer so you just wear that third one in the month two weeks in a row is literally how that works it's really not that hard but the transition from each one when you first start oh <laughs> when I tell you I was ready to cry like I was ready to give up the I think third tray I did I was like nope I'm not doing this anymore I'm calling the customer service line I want all my money back I'm sitting in the back right now because I could legitimately not get it onto my teeth like I couldn't get it onto the back of my teeth it just wasn't happening it was too narrow or something I really don't know but I was over it and I ended up having to wear the same ones for an extra week maybe two weeks actually to like make sure it continued to stretch my teeth because if not I was going to be done for so it ended up working out where I was able to to do that like it let it let it stretch because in the event that you have an issue with your liner like you don't like the way it fits you can let them know and they'll they'll resize them like if it legitimately is like they missed a piece or something stupid they'll fix it and you just have to message them and let them know and they'll ask for like pictures to show proof like show me exactly where the problem is and they'll send you new ones but for me because of being pregnant and everything I was like well maybe I'm just you know being a punk I'm gonna go ahead and just try it out a little bit longer and see if this works out and if I never can get this on like if I can't get this on next week I'm done it's pretty much what I said I'm gonna be done I'm over it I'm not doing it anymore and it actually fit and I was like okay I'm gonna keep going I can make it I can do it and I just kept reminding myself once you have this baby you're gonna have straight teeth when you have this baby you're gonna have straight teeth that's all I kept reminding myself as you can see, I'm going to show you my teeth right now. Literally, I'm going to come close to you. I'm coming close to you. Really close to you. My teeth are a lot straighter than they were. But they're still a little gappy. Just a little. But it's different when you don't get braces. So, obviously, they're going to be a little gappy. But you do have retainers for after the fact. So, you have to wear the retainers. Because if not gonna be one salty person and your teeth are gonna go back to the way that they were it won't be immediate obviously but they will take their time and start sliding right on back to where they were so do not think that this is a temporary fix well a permanent fix and you don't have to wear the retainers you can just keep it pushing and it, it just be fixed forever no sadly it's not a thing and of course that's a way for them to get more money from you they i think it's like a hundred dollars just for your retainers you have to pay for them at the end too and then every six months they recommend you get new retainers 
because when I tell you these aligners that you get, the retainer and aligners are literally the same type of thing. It's just these ones are ones that you're going to wear for six months. The aligners are so easily dirty. Like you're not, it's not even a matter of not making sure you brush your teeth. You're supposed to brush your teeth every single time you eat so that when you put them back in, you don't get them dirty, but it's not that simple. Half the time, if you don't brush your teeth perfectly every single time, you're going to find a way to get gunk in it. Or you're going to have a liner breath because you just have gunk in your mouth now because you've worn these things for so long. You're supposed to wear them like 22 hours out of the day, I think is what they put in the manual. And it's like, damn. But in reality, it makes sense. It's just not when you have to remember to put them back in your mouth after you eat. It's pretty hard when you first start. But eventually you remember like you're only supposed to drink water with them in. You do not eat with them in at all because they're just going to get dirty really quick. You do only wear them week to week and then the two weeks. So if they get dirty, it's not a big deal. But the retainers, you get them dirty and you really can't clean them then what are you gonna do? I did watch a video to do like my research on how many videos there was like this out. And it's not a lot of people, but somebody did say that they sent like a retainer cleaner and I'm a little jelly because I didn't get one. And I don't think they plan on giving me one. And it's probably on the website and cost too much money and I'm not buying it. So it is what it is. If anything, I'll just hold out and I'll just get the new retainers in six months. I still got a while. I'm only, I've only had them for like a month now because they did come a little bit later because of rona everything was so bad when i requested them they did come a little bit later they didn't come on their own like they're supposed to like automatically charge you for them if you set it up that way but because of everything going on they couldn't do that so but i got them so that's all that matters my teeth not moving they better not move um but overall it it, it was good it was good it's just a couple things that are different for me now which is another reason why i feel like I messed up too. It's like the way that I eat is a little different. I have constant pain in certain spots in my mouth because my aligners didn't reach the far back of my teeth. So like that last, I don't know if I have my wisdom teeth or whatever they're called, but maybe it wasn't supposed to reach back there, but because it doesn't, it hurts a lot when I eat half the time now, like only on the bottom teeth though. It just hurts for no apparent reason sometimes. It's not all the time. It's very weird and uncomfortable and I can tell I have a slight lisp now when I talk from wearing the aligners all the time <laughs> um so that really really sucks um but I do like the the result I do feel like my teeth I, I are a lot better I feel way more confident in smiling I used to literally not smile in pictures I'll, I'll tag those too so you can see like I literally would just have the bitch face I said I didn't want to cuss on here, but I had the bitch face all the time because I didn't want to show my teeth. And I felt like my smile like that was fine. I thought that that was fine. Like, <laughs> that's enough. A smile is a smile, right? So <laughs> I kept it pushing. But, you know, it's always time for something new. It's like, I'll try it and see how I feel. And I actually do feel a lot more confident in myself. So that's one thing that they did get right. They just need to work on their pain level, man. Or maybe stretch it out. Maybe six months is a little too fast. Maybe it's a little too fast and they just got a little hype. And they got to chill out next time. They probably won't. They're going to keep making the same stuff and giving it to people. And people going to buy it. But it's okay. I still recommend it. It's just you better be able to afford it. Because if not, do not waste your time doing it. Because now you set yourself up with a thousand dollar plus bill because if you can do two different options it's the wearing it all day for 22 hours or overnight you do it overnight you're gonna be doing it for a year probably you do it with 22 hours a day is six months so you pick what you want to do depending on what your daily life is not a big deal it was hard for me to talk for my first two weeks of wearing them I work in retail and I literally could not talk to anybody because I was in so much pain starting out. Like it hurts when you first put them in. It's not like, oh, it hurts all day. Your teeth are just and it's fine. But when you keep taking them out and putting them back in, that's when the pain starts. And don't even think you can say, oh, I forgot to put them on last night. Let me just put them back in. It should be okay. No. You played yourself. Now you're going to be in a world of pain because now you've gone probably at least six to eight hours, sometimes 10 if you love to sleep in. I have kids, so I don't do that. 
it's going to hurt. Like, why would you do that to yourself? Like, don't do that. If you're going to do this, you need to be consistent and dedicated to straightening your teeth out or it is not going to work. It's, it's going to be a waste of your time and a waste of your money. And Smile Direct because they got like actual doctors doing this stuff. Like, it's for real. So, that's all I really have to say about it. Like, I feel like it wasn't enough videos on here of people talking about it. Nobody is paying me. I am not sponsored. I wish. I, I wish. I got a, a referral code I could give y'all, but I don't know how much it's going to help me because I already almost paid for it. But I'll give you my referral code if you really want to try it. But if you click it, you better get it <laughs> so I can get the money. <laughs> I think they give you like $100 if you refer people. It's, it's not like money, money. It's like a credit on your account type of thing. Like I could probably use it to buy one of the things like more whitening or something like that. Or part, pay part of my bill. But it's not like they just give you cash. So don't think that's a thing. They do have a lot of like ambassadors too though. So if anybody wants to do that, you might get a discount for like outlining your experience and stuff which is something like i said i'm not doing it would have been nice if i could do that but i wasn't too worried about it i already finished and did everything so why would they sponsor me to do it so i'm just like not worried about that so yeah but i thought i'd get it out because not enough people know about it and so many people ask me questions why i put it on my instagram and it was so many people like what you did huh for when how did you do that how much it cost i'm like I'll let you know in a minute then. It just popped in my head. You should do this on your YouTube that you've been saying you were going to do for years and still haven't. <laughs> okay, don't judge me. All right, I'm going to head out. I'm going to head out or whatever. Have a wonderful day. Watch more videos of mine and like this one if it spoke to you in any kind of way so you know confidence is key. Definitely is key. Bye.